doing? Oh, the usual. What are you doing? I guess I need to go right there. Okay. This looks different. Why does this look different? Let's see. Is that mommy? Yep, that's mommy. Mommy, why do you want mommy? Why do you want mommy? All right, where are we? You guys ready to rock? This looks. All right, where are we? Oh, stop! You be you quiet. Ready to rock? This looks. All right, where are we? Oh, stop! You be you quiet. Ready to rock? This looks. All right, where are we? Oh, stop! You be quiet. You Okay. <laughs> I thought, it's as if I've forgotten how to do a live stream. <laughs> it's only been two weeks. All right, where are we? What do you guys want to talk about? Atopia? Avatar? Yeah, I've been off for two weeks. I forgot what I'm doing. Uh, there's no laundry happening, so it's just you, me, and uh, the rest of us, I guess. Andre, uh, I'm working right now, but I hope you can answer my question. Any news on Fantasmic? They said it may would return, and we haven't had any news about it. Well, we've had a date, Andre, for a while. We've had a, a, a date May 24th. It's back on May 24th. Animatronics. I, I mean, I can't keep up. Do I do a video on the animatronics now? I haven't been doing a lot of news videos, but I had to make these two. I had to do the Autopia one and the Avatar one. And then the, and then they drop. Uh, maybe I'll include that in... I can include that in the construction video, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, those animatronics look great. <laughs> they look really great. That is state-of-the-art stuff, man. At a state of the art, the the Lewis animatronic with his belly, it's all bouncing around and everything. And I thought Mama Odie looked great. I mean, obviously Tiana looked good, but you almost, I, I almost was more impressed by by Mama Odie and Lewis. Thank you to Toy Soldier Mike for the five dollar gift. What is your all time favorite atmosphere entertainment? You mean like uh, you mean like the Dapper Dan's or the band or something like that? Or or yeah, I think the bootstrappers are probably my favorite, if that's what we're talking about. Quinn Uddy, get the five dollars. Thank you. Will Fresh Bake be headed to Orlando when Epic Universe opens next year? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Rumor has it that the random walls outside of Little Mermaid are addressing the irrigation issues with the trees in that area. I guess the tree... Well, that's kind of depressing. Where did you hear that? That's interesting, Justin. I haven't heard that. Is Space Mountain Single Rider open during Rope Drop? Uh, probably, I think. All you have to do is walk in the exit, and you'll see. There'll be a sign up. If the sign's not up, then it's not open. But I think so. Uh-oh, my wife's here. Is she going to do laundry? No. <laughs> I, thought, I thought of it. I was like, no, let's wait till we get back. <laughs> I have to feed the dog. Did I watch the Bob Iger interview on CNBC? No, I did not. I forgot about that. That happened last night after the uh, shareholders meeting, right? Did he say anything good? There, we, there was no, no news came from it, so I guess it wasn't that informative.
Wait, Angelica, are you saying you're in the park? Well, there you go, Angelica. Uh, I, I see you wanted a Dole Whip float. Is that right? Well, I got you covered, Angelica. Give me a second while we load things up. And then I could say thank you to Rin Raiden Kostu for the $10 gift. Do you plan to attend any of the panels at the Holland Center? Yes, I'm going on the Friday and Saturday night panels. Any expectations for the parks panel? I mean, normally I don't. And this is something we talked about in the Autopia video and in the Avatar video that we put on a Fresh Bake Presents. Normally I don't have high hopes for D23. Normally I keep my expectations low, but I, this could be a very interesting parks panel this year. Offhand and Mickey D has both put out videos indicating there would be some major announcements. I mean, yeah, I, I tell you, and I'll tell you what, if Braden says there's going to be good announcements at D23, I'm inclined to believe him. He's connected in ways that none of us are. KE gets the two bucks. Thank you. Undercover tourists is selling a, adult tickets at kid prices. Well, there is no kid ticket anymore. There are no kid tickets. What does that mean? I don't understand what that means. There was that $50 ticket for a while, but that ended uh, two a month ago. Thank you to KE for the $2 gift again. Think it will affect crowds. Sorry, two messages. I, dude, the parks are full. <laughs> we don't need, I mean, they're, they're, yeah, it's, it's not going to, well, first of all, I don't know what you're talking about, but it, yeah, if they're selling, if they're selling uh, discounted tickets, then yeah, they're going to sell discounted tickets. It's going to make, you know, they're going to sell more tickets that way. Disney guy, did you make a video on the D23 tickets fiasco? I did not. That's not really a, a video that we're doing in today's fresh baked climate, as it were. But I, I know that was quite a disaster. Very reminiscent of Oogie Boogie. Okay, Katie, you said Disney tickets are at kid prices. There is no kid price ticket, though. Or am I missing something? Or wait, there are. There is, isn't there? I am missing something. Hang on, let me... I, I got my head... My head's all crossed up. I was thinking of the sale. I was thinking of the, of the $50 ticket. Oh, you're going night-night? Yeah. Okay, come here. I'm going to take a shower okay. with mommy. Okay. Bye. Good night, honey. I love you. Good night. <laughs> Can you get that door? Thank you. Uh, Chubby Brute, give the $5. Thank you. The gas engine sounds at Utopia should be replaced with sounds like the Justin's cars when they go electric. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> they got to do something with that. They got to do something. Uh, where am I now? I'm going to get... I'm still trying to buy that Dole Whip. Uh, what's it called again? Tiki Juice Bar. There we go. Interesting. The Tiki Juice Bar is for now. Is it not busy tonight? Oh, okay, apparently they are. Kristen says it's very busy. I think Autopia has outlived its useful life. No respect for the history of the park to say such a thing. Jungle Cruiser, get the $20. Thank you very much. Dave, uh... Thought I would share a magic moment. I was at the castle, and a family wanted a photo taken. The mom handed me the phone, and the young son said, there is a baby in my mommy's tummy. Mom just told him about the baby. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> wow, that is really cute. And he just, he just volunteered that for you? <laughs> my blue JL gift the 10 bucks. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Moved from OC to Seattle 15 years ago, and you get me my Disneyland fix. Going to Disney World 
this summer and staying at the Poly. I hope you enjoy the view of the DVC Tower. First out of Disney World? I wish I could do things for the first time again. I love Disney World. I really enjoy myself. It's I am I'm more likely to just go to the park when I go to Disney World. I feel more like a, a tourist than I do, obviously, when I'm at Disneyland. Oh, man. It wants me to sign in. Hold on. Uh, bing, gong, boom, beep, beep, boop, boop. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Bing, 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 bing. I have forgotten my password. Ah, barnacles. Why did it do? Oh, no. Webfoot, that was kind of rude. What did I do? I did something rude? What did I do? Order food, there we go. Try that again. Autopia at Disney World is boring though. Okay, so skip Autopia. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have to go. <laughs> I agree though. It's just a big circle. It's like a it's like a speedway as opposed to a trip through the through the countryside. Okay, let's try that again. Bing bong, bing bong, bing, 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 bong. I, uh, I'll get to, I'm, I'm getting to the, to the super chats, but I got to finish this order. I'm having a problem here. That should do it. God bless it. What is happening? Hold on, guys. One second. Let me go back. I'm going to catch up. Uh, it's Adrian. Get the $10. Thank you. Hey, David, when you mentioned in your new video how they wouldn't do Eastern Gateway the same time as Pandora or Tomorrowland, they did build Pixar Pals when they were still building Galaxy's Edge. Well, I think the, the parking structure is probably one exception to that rule. Uh, that makes sense because it, it's not park. It doesn't get in the way of the park experience, so that that is something they could do concurrently. I would agree with that. Let me try that again now. And then uh, let's see. We have a or five dollars from Jungle Cruiser redacted or retracted. I don't know what that means. Well, I guess that means that he didn't do it. <laughs> Sean Bexton, get the twenty-seven dollars. Thank you very much. Angelica, pronounced with a hard G, is in the parks as we speak. She's a super muffin, and I'm donating for a Dole Whip for her. That's the one I'm working on right now, Sean. That's why I've been so quiet. I've been trying to get this order placed, but I'm having a heck of a time. Did I get it? Because it keep now it wants me to sign in, even though I, I have my info saved. But it looks like I have to place the order once more. Tiki Juice Bar.
I'm trying, man. <laughs> I tried CBC. <laughs> okay, this is the third time. Dapper Day is on Sunday? I stopped going to that event. Okay, we did it. Uh, five minutes, Angelica. And your code, your order number is 9780. 9780. Okay, where was I? Where am I? Where am I? Did I get tickets for D23? Well, uh, yes and no. Uh, I teamed up with uh, Adam. Adam the Woo. We were, try we, we were both trying to get them together. You know, if, if we got in first, we bought for him. If he got in first, he bought for us, that kind of thing. So he got, he got a, a set for us, but just for Friday and Saturday, the three-day ticket was sold out. I tried all three days. I tried, I tried all three days to get tickets on my own, and I failed miserably each and every time. Uh, I, you know, it's, and it took, it's so, it's so eerie, it's so similar to what happened with Ogie Boogie, where they sold out within a day. I, it took, uh, what, four months, I think? It took, it took all, it took all the way up to the event for them to sell out last time. So, I don't know if that's resellers again because I know that I saw them pop right up as soon as the the, the sales of that day were over. I saw them pop up on eBay and stuff like that. So if it's resellers buying all the tickets or not, it's such it's just this world sometimes you guys, this world that we live in is it just makes me upset. <laughs> it just makes me upset. There's so much dishonesty out there. So much dishonesty and, and people just trying to take advantage of other people. And it makes it makes my heart hurt, man. It really does. You know, because I just go around, I try to, I'm trying to do the right thing every single day. And you get this kind of nonsense and it's just and I couldn't get a ticket. Luckily, luckily Adam did. But if if it weren't for Adam, I wouldn't be going to D twenty three this year. Darcy Duke, I get the $5. Thank you. In your opinion, where is the best place to watch World of Color? Lamplight Lounge or Wine Country Trattoria? Are those your only choices? You have to pick one of those? If so, I would say Wine Country. Because uh, I think it's a little elevated, so you can see through the trees a little bit. But it's a straight shot. The You're going to hear World of Color more than you see it if you if you go to Lamplight. Thank you, Hukalua, for the $10 gift. 10 years on the wait list, and I got invited to join Club 33. <laughs> That's incredible. It took you 10 years? I, I heard it wasn't that long, that it wasn't a 10-year wait. It's years, but not 10. Wow. How much has the price gone up in those 10 years, I wonder? Vegas Disney Travelers gifted five dollars. Thank you. Has anyone mentioned the Baymax Blue Fairy Zero wires are one from above the castle? I'm not sure what you're asking. I don't. I don't know what you're asking. Jungle Cruiser, Mister. Oh, there we go. Jungle Cruiser gifted five dollars. Thank you. Tomorrow we get two new popcorn buckets. Glassware from Star Cruiser. And new scenes on Star Tours and new droids walking around about to. Are we getting those little baby droids again? It, the wires are gone? Wait, two questions. Are we getting those little baby droids again? And somebody just said the wires are gone? Wow. 
Wow, that's interesting. I wonder what that means. I know they're not doing it this year, but they've, I mean, the wires have never been down. I can't remember there ever being a time, ever, when the wires were down. Joker Cruiser, get the two bucks. Thank you. Yes, the three droids are back. Well, I'll be sure to check those out. Uh, what was the other thing he said I'm curious about? Oh, no, I got all that. Okay. Oh, uh, the glass were from Star Cruiser. Plus, they're selling the Ranker Tooth uh, Beer Flight uh, glasses, too, aren't they? I think they're doing that again. But that's something that they sold when Galaxy's Edge first opened, if I recall. Yeah, the new Star Tour scenes are from Ahsoka. And I think Andor also. Are they doing something from Andor? Oh, yeah, the Java popcorn bucket. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't collect popcorn buckets because they're kind of pointless and cheap. They look cool, but they're just, you know, janky plastic. Uh, and they, they don't... I I don't put them on the shelves or anything like that. I'm not a display kind of guy and as far as that goes, so there's no point. But they look really cool. They look really, really cool. Uh, Jeremy Basham, haters gotta be in shambles. I mentioned this in the video we did today. <laughs> I... I take it's I, I feel bad. I feel guilty for taking pleasure in this right now. But I made a comment about that at the end of our video today in the Avatar video about, you know, what what kind of day are the haters have they been having recently? You know, they got they got I <laughs> I didn't get anybody telling me, you know, I didn't hear from any of the haters about how Reedy Creek got settled. Didn't hear anything from the haters about how the stock price was going up, although it went down the last couple days, but it's been going up like crazy. Didn't hear anything from the haters about Bob Iger winning the proxy fight. Haven't heard anything from the haters about Avatar or Autopia. What are they going to do? I asked this question, I think, like a month ago on this live stream. I said, what, what, are, the, what are the haters going to do when things keep going Disney's way? <laughs> <laughs> like what what are you gonna do now what, what are you gonna complain about Caleb Portman get the ten dollars thank you I'm just enjoying it because you know I uh, this is gonna this is gonna get through all of this they are as long as they have the right mindset in their heart then good things are gonna happen that's my belief the bad things happen because there was there was poison in the heart of Disney for a while, and I just, I I mean who who's you know what reason that is who could say, but I don't I don't get the sense that that poison is in the system anymore. They're still trying to get that poison out, but I don't feel like that 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 same poison exists today. Caleb Portman gets a ten dollars. Thank you. Might not ever be a thing, but they could do Zootopia in the Hollywood backlot if they did want to revitalize it. Of course, yeah, they'd be that. That'd be a great location for Zootopia. It could possibly be an okay transition from Buena Vista Street. It would be a fine transition from Buena Vista Street. I agree. CBC JR get the tour. And Magic Keys are back. Thank you very much, CBC. Didn't hear anything from anybody, you know, the haters about Magic Keys being back and being wide open again. Happy that Magic Keys are on sale. Happy that Iger won the shareholders vote. Hope they get rid of the reservation system. Just the clock's ticking on that. Hope they will announce the Marvel e-ticket attraction. I don't think we're going to get anything on that. Looking forward to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. All good stuff. All good stuff. Adam Mara, gift of $20. Thank you. Hey, David. Will the season of the Force, fireworks, and Galaxy's Edge, is that only on Star Wars night events or regular nights too? If there's fireworks, you'll get the music, whether or not it's Star Wars night. So tomorrow, you will get the music tomorrow. Red Panda Daddy, get the $5, thank you. Planning a trip in August. It's going to be difficult smelling all the food but not being able to eat due to my sleeve surgery. 
but I'm down 50 pounds. Congratulations, Red Panda. I mean, I, I, I get used to it. I don't eat a lot at Disneyland, only when I have to. So you can manage. Jungle Cruiser gets the $5. Thank you, Dave. Also, Mandalorian scenes, and one of my buckets is selling for $150. But what? Ay, ay, ay. Disney is about to start a new renaissance era. I mean, they could. They could. If they, as long as the heart is in the right space. If the heart is in the right place, they can. Darcy Duca, get the $5. Thank you. Our family is doing a VIP tour. Do you have a host recommendation? Uh, one of the longest running uh, friends that I've had at the park. He was he was part of our original crew a hundred years ago when I first started doing this show. He would well not part of the crew per se, but he would hang out with us from time to time. And then he got a job at Disneyland. He started sweeping floors at Stage Door Cafe. I and then he eventually worked his way up. He's a plaid now, and he's been a plaid for a few years. And he's one of the top rated plaids in the in the park. His name is Adrian. Uh, so if you are able to request a plaid, ask for Adrian. Patrick K. gets a $10. Thank you. Hey, David, we'll only have two days for Disney World after our cruise. It will be our first time in Orlando. What parks would you recommend? We will have our daughter. I know you're partial to Epcot. Well, I love Epcot. It's my favorite Walt Disney World park, but it's not exactly kid-friendly. Is it? I don't know. Well, it could be. Uh, that's I would recommend Magic Kingdom and Epcot for myself. Uh, you can skip Hollywood Studios, so really it's about whether or not you want to do Epcot or Animal Kingdom. And actually, now that I think about it, kids might like Hollywood Studios. I don't. I don't know what kids like. I don't know. I I don't know how a kid would compare Epcot to Hollywood Studios. They may be better. They may like Hollywood Studios better. Frankie, get the $20. Thank you. Dave, saw you last Friday in front of Plaza Inn. My sis pointed you out and she took a pic with you. I think I remember that. I told you she doesn't follow you. What she does. Had to mess with my sis. Huh? It was cool to see you. I remember that. Yeah, that Frankie. Yeah, that was cool. Well, when I say kid-friendly, Laramie, I mean, will kids enjoy it? Is it built with kids in mind? I don't know if Epcot is built with kids in mind. CP, Remy's, Frozen, Cosmic Rewind. Well, Cosmic Rewind is height-restricted. Uh, and I agree, they're great, but then what else is there? It's, it's not just about the rides. I, you, <laughs> I've been saying this. How about, how, for how many, more, how, how many more years do I have to say it's not just about the rides? There's, a whole, there's so much more to going to a Disney park than just which rides they have. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Like very chances. If you were to rank the kid friendliness of the four parks, I think Epcot is probably the least kid friendly. But it's my favorite park, but I'm not a kid. World Showcase is great, but they might find that boring. I love World Showcase. Theme Parks and Things with Johnny get the five dollars. Thank you. Just got back from Atlantis, Bahamas, stayed at the Royal Tower. It was really cool to see the Disney cruise ship on the way to the hotel. Wow, that's really cool. Uh, Liz and I are going to be doing some food reviews tomorrow, but, uh, I don't know if we'll do all the food. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, it's, it's a short thing. I don't know if I, by the time I eat all the food, I, it'll be over. Right, Shannon, get the $20. Thank you. Hey, David, not sure if you have talked about this, but do you think the Lightning Lane will stay at Pirates once Hana Mansion and Tiana is open? Well, they said it wouldn't. They said this was temporary. But, I mean, my, my gut says they're, they're going to leave it in there. You know, that's my fear. That would be consistent with how, you know, Disneyland has been running their, that kind of ops lately, especially at Disneyland. I'm not a fan of Ken Potrock at the moment. 
Not a fan. Sean from Phoenix, give the $10. Thank you. Hi, David. Just saying hi. We will be there for D23. I just turned 55 on Tuesday. Happy birthday, Sean. I turned 55 this year as well. That's a top-tier sweater. <laughs> Simple, clean, and classic. That is me. I don't like busy patterns. I don't like, you know, clever sayings on the shirts. I like to just represent. So I have a few like this. I, I've got one that's in the Mouseketeers. That's probably the most, you know, it says the original Mouseketeer on the back. And it's just making the front. I have another one, a red one just like this. And then, and then uh, yeah, that's it. I don't like, I don't like too complicated stuff at all. When is the parking lot open? Uh, check me on this, guys, if I'm not mistaken. Both lots open at 7 a.m.? Question mark? I know Toy Story opens at 7 a.m. You can queue up before that. But I don't know when they actually drop the rope, per se. Because I don't ever go to uh, Mickey and Friends, so I'm not positive on that. So, uh, But I think it's 7 a.m. at Mickey and Friends also. I got to do some more recon. I got to do some more recon on parking at Mickey and Friends because I'm trying to do a video on that, on about, you know, uh, parking hacks, that kind of thing. When will Rainforest Cafe be back at downtown? Who's going to tell them? Do I have to do it? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. The answer is never, sir. <laughs> it's never coming back. Palace Adventures. Uh, it was interesting to hear Bob Iger say they knew about Epic Universe but didn't feel they needed to expand right away. You know that was that that his answer to that question got a lot of people talking, and it's interesting because on the one hand his answer was dumb. <laughs> it was. I mean, I get it. I get what he's doing because what else is he gonna do? Uh, I would have just skipped that question if I, if you know, if I were doing uh, this, if I were doing a shareholders meeting and I was able to prepare my answers for prepared questions like that. Even what the question was prepared, but he knew the question coming in advance. I'd have skipped that one. But his answer was lame, because no, they didn't. They didn't build. They didn't build uh, uh, <laughs> Pandora as a response to Epic Universe. Of course they didn't. <laughs> That's ludicrous. But in any case, I disagree with the notion that Disney needs to respond. Disney is the best. They are the best. They are the they have they have been the best for a very long time. They will they are still the best and even when Epic Universe is done, they will still be the best. Nobody does it like Disney. Nobody does it as well as Disney across the board in all facets of operations. Not just the rides, but the show and the cast, operations, everything. Disney is the best. It's everybody else that has to respond to Disney. And I know people are going to say that's not how it is anymore and the Universal's coming up. Yes, they are. They are coming up, but they still have to catch Disney. Epic Universe is just one theme park. Uh Disney's got four <laughs> in that state already. Disney doesn't need to respond. Now, they can, and they probably will, but it's Universal that has to respond. Universal is the one doing the responding. They're the ones who are trying to catch up to Disney, and they will have to still not only finish Epic Universe and finish doing whatever they're doing at Universal Orlando, but then they have to do more than that. Universal, guys, Universal Studios... 
in Hollywood is not a great park. I, I enjoy it. I have fun because I go in with a certain mindset when I go there that I have my a different expectations. But that's not, you can't, that doesn't even rank. You can't even compare it to Disneyland. So this idea that Disney has somehow fallen behind Universal is laughable. And I will now get off my soapbox. I have to do some catching up. Okay. Uh, Nate, get the two bucks. Thank you. Everyone hit the like button. So saith Nate. So say you or so do you all. Quinn Udi, get the five bucks. If you could bring back one abandoned attraction at both Disneyland and Disney World, which one would it be? Could it work in 24? No. Uh, I would bring back the people mover and I don't know. Uh, at Disney World, what's what's been abandoned at Disney World? I don't know. I don't know it very well. I don't know well enough. I can't think. Mary Chin, get the twenty dollars. Thank you. I was in Walt Disney World a couple of weeks ago and thought of you when I was on the People Mover. It's my favorite Magic Kingdom ride too. It's the best. It's the best. Martin Jimenez, get the five dollars. Thank you. Hey, Fresh Bake. My daughter Kara says hi. Hi, Kara. Planning on visiting any Disney parks in other countries. China, Japan. Have fun at D23. I mean, I want to, but I don't have any immediate plans now. Hector Theodopoulos, get the $5. Thank you. Hey, David, hope you're well. Do you think you'll ever find yourself living at Catino? I do not know. Get the combo of golf and Disney for retirement. That's the problem, Hector, is that uh, Catino does not have a golf course. If they had a golf course, I might have thought about it. But there is no golf course, nor will there be, as far as I know, at Catino. I4A, get the 10 bucks. Thank you. First time catching a live stream. Love the content. Thank you very much, I4A, and welcome. Quinn Udi, get the two bucks again. What did they do with the old AMC theater? They reduced it to rubble. It's dust. Uh, where the theater was now is the, the, the new bandstand, that grassy area. That's where the theater was. Toad at Magic Kingdom. I'll give you that one. I like that. I was thinking about Alien Encounter, but I've never been in that attraction, so I couldn't say. Quinn is back with two bucks. Thank you. If we ever get a Moana ride, where would it be? I don't know how to answer that because I don't think we're ever going to get a Moana ride. Ryan Sherwood, get the five bucks. Thank you. Kungaloosh, Dave. With all the cue science you do, have you ever checked out the Funkland's documentary, Disney's Fast Pass? Oh, for sure. I watched that. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. <laughs> you bet I did. Third gate is the response. I mean, if you, if you say so, Disney guy, I'm just saying they don't need to. What is the, what is the best theme park in the United States? I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Name the best theme park in the entire United States. Just think, now, don't be, come on, don't be ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I know it's huge. I get it, Disney guy. I know it is, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Kenny Wood. <laughs> no, I, I know that not everybody's going to say Disneyland. And certainly people have their own preference. But I'm here to tell you that the majority of people are going to say Disneyland. Even the non-Disneyland locals are the majority. 65, 70% of the people are going to say Disneyland. Meanwhile, what Disney does, what, what it's best at, why people still come to Disneyland and we say this all the time. Why do people love Disneyland? It's not because of Galaxy's Edge or Mickey's Runaway Railway. It's because of Pirates and Haunted Mansion and Main Street and the train and the monorail and the Matterhorn. Those are the reasons why people, as far as attractions go, those are the reasons why people choose Disneyland for the way that makes you feel. None of that is modern or, you know, 
part of a competition. None of it has anything to do with answering, responding to anything. It's just freaking good. Okay. And it always has been good and it always will be good. And you don't need to respond when you're already the freaking best. Make something better. <laughs> Make something better than, than Pirates of the Caribbean, Haunted Mansion, Matterhorn, Monorail, Disneyland Railroad, and Main Street. Make something better than that. And then provide awesome customer service with your cast members. Great food. Great show. Operations that are unparalleled in the industry. Do something better than that. <laughs> Do something better than that. And then we can talk about responding. Jungle Cruise. I'm fired up today. You bet I am. <laughs> it's because I'm so over. I'm so over people take, you know, just trying to kill Disney. I'm over it. I'm just over it. <laughs> Why you got to take them down? Disneyland's awesome. I've been going every week for 12, 13 years, every single week, and I just feel like I'm home each and every single time. I have been literally a thousand times. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I would love to go to Magic Kingdom again, though. <laughs> I want to go back to Walt Disney World so bad. <laughs> Epcot is great. Animal Kingdom is great. Uh, Hollywood Studios is okay. <laughs> Man, I love Magic Kingdom. I really do. I love Magic Kingdom. I've said that before. Elizabeth Scott gets the twenty dollars. Thank you. Hi, David. Uh, I wanted to say that you, uh, what you do, is such a blessing to so many people. Your videos have put a lot of brightness into a difficult time in my life. Well, thank you for saying that, Elizabeth. Thanks for giving us a window to the magic of Disney from our homes. It is our pleasure, and so glad that you are able to uh, enjoy with us. Trish, I had a nap today. That's why I'm all fired up. I had my nap. SoCal Reviews, Universal is its own experience. No doubt about it. It absolutely is. I have an annual pass to Universal. I try to make as many trips as I can. I've also got an annual pass to Knott's Berry Farm. I try to make it as many trips as I can to that park as well. I enjoy each of those parks for what they are. But to, to, to try to sit there and say that Disney needs to, you know, achieve whatever level it is that they've achieved at Universal is just nonsense. It's nonsense. You can, they can all be good. <laughs> you know what I mean? That we can, they, they can all be good and coexist together. It's not a race. People want it to be a race. That's the world we live in. Uh, and that's why they, you, know, you get this D23 you know, uh, arms race happening in the uh, big announcements arms race. And, and Disney falls into that trap as well. But I wish that they would, I wish that they would realize, and maybe they do, I don't know, that they... They need they just need to do what they do. Tune it out, tunnel vision, and just be good at being Disney. And not worry about any of that other stuff. Disney guy, get the two bucks. Thank you. I see Avatar Land going in the symbol lot. Thoughts. I mean, that's as reasonable as anything. My prediction, my guess, I shouldn't say. My best guess now, based on the tea leaves, based mostly based on the fact that that art looks like a complete. Uh, build from the ground up, which means it's not a reskin. And it also, and what Josh tomorrow said about waiting for Disneyland forward to get approved before they can build, you know, that's the inference he made. So that I, th I feel like it's Disneyland forward, but which section, if it's, if it's Simba or downtown Disney or Toy Story, I don't know. Steve Boutte, get the $10. Thank you. Disney leaves me with fond memories. Universal leaves me with aches and pains. And an upset stomach because their food sucks. Dean H. Give the $10. We love your passion and fire, David. Thank you very much. Cheers to that. I feel like I've won when I eat at Universal and I don't hate it. That's That was... <laughs> I got the Cletus' chicken and waffle sandwich last time I was at Universal. And I walked out of there like, all right. I didn't hate that. That wasn't terrible. <laughs> yeah. 
Jim Ferguson, wouldn't Avatar Land make more sense off of Critter Country? Uh, where, though, in Critter Country are you going to put Avatar Land? Now, I would say that a more likely... You could... Uh, no, you probably... No, that's not even... No, there's no place. There's no space at Critter Country. Right behind Critter Country, literally behind Critter Country, is Galaxy's Edge. There's no room for that. They do have Butterbeer. I will give Universal Butterbeer. Disney ain't got nothing as good as Butterbeer. <laughs> Disney ain't got nothing as good as Butterbeer. There's not a single thing that's better than a Butterbeer. I'll give them that. If they could just build Butterbeer land, now, now we're talking. Now you got to respond to Butterbeer land. Do you prefer OBB or HHN? You know, that's a great question. Jeremy, I have to say, I think I prefer Halloween Horror Nights. I've done Oogie Boogie every year for... A de you know, a decade, and it's been this pretty much the same every single year. So, you know, I mean, I, I kind of, I, I've almost, I have half a mind to not even make a video this year of Oogie Boogie Bash. It's just the same every year, which is great. It's not like I don't make that complaint about the, you know, Main Street being the same every time I go, but it's different. But I really enjoy myself at Halloween Horror Nights, and we're going to be putting that on the main channel this year. First time ever we're putting Halloween Horror Nights on the main channel this year. Theme Parks and Things with Johnny get to 20 bucks. Thank you very much. One theory I have where Avatar could go is the back right corner next to Small World where you can use the parade door as the entrance to Pandora. But what debunks my theory is the parade route door. Where do you send the parade? Well, not only that, but there's all kinds of backstage stuff happening back there that's very necessary to operations. Uh, monorail, the train, and all that stuff. Uh, there's very essential, essential stuff happening behind Small World. So I, I don't know, where do you park? Where do you park the monorail and, and all that stuff, you know? Uh, no, uh, Butterbeer is better than a Tatooine Sunset. Sorry to say. Red Panda Daddy gets the $5. Thank you. I hope they keep Toy Story a lot. I stay at the Days Inn and walk to the bus. If Disneyland Forward gets approved, the Toy Story lot is going bye-bye. Sorry to say. Would you want a Villain's Land? I, you know what? Uh, no, I don't think so. People talk about that as, as a thing. I feel like that idea sounds better than it actually would be in application, I think. People think they know what they want, but they really don't, you know? Uh, in the end, what supports a land best is good feelings and family feelings and in terms of Disneyland. This may work at other parks, but I don't think it would work at Disneyland. The, the, the villains are the additive. They're the, they're the salt and sugar, you know, but they're not the main course. They're the, it's, you, you mix in the villain stuff, I think. I don't think you could do a whole dedication, a whole dedicated uh, land for villains. I, I don't know. Facilitate, inform. World needs beautiful dreams, not nightmares, not into horror stuff anymore. I love horror. I'm a huge horror fan. Both Liz and I are. When I'm not talking about Disney, I'm watching a horror film. So it's not that I don't appreciate that stuff. It's just that I don't think there's a... I just I feel like it's incongruous to the vibe that you're trying to put out at a Disney park. Any chance of Halloween returning to Disneyland? There's a chance, yes. There is a chance. I don't I can't say anything for sure, but I've heard speculation that they were thinking about doing both parks. Kimberly G, villains are the sour cream on nachos. <laughs> or and jalapenos. They're the jalapenos too. <laughs> Uh, 
Matthew Truckner, quite the dichotomy, Disney and horror flicks. You'd be surprised, you guys, how much those two fandoms intersect. We go to uh, we go to Monster Palooza or uh, the Midsummer Screen. When Liz and I go to those events, I get fresh baked constantly, all day. There is in that Venn diagram. It's not like a little bit of intersection. It's a huge intersection. Uh, on the Venn diagram between horror and Disney. You'd be surprised. Would you want a Lion King land like the one that's possibly being added to Studios Paris? I think the idea of just a... You know, a desert landscape like that would be cool in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be Lion King, but I get why they would do it. But that's an environment that doesn't get represented very often in parks. Uh, and I, I feel like a, a desert environment would be pretty cool. Steve Patay, get the two bucks. Thank you. I get fresh baked all day. <laughs> right on. <laughs> is it true that the shooting range is going away? That's a rumor. It's a rumor, but it's only at Magic Kingdom. The shooting gallery here at Disneyland, it, there's no such rumor. Thoughts on making Genie Plus more expensive? There's there's logic to that because you want to, you know, kind of like how it works, you know, like it uh, they sell fewer. The idea would be to sell fewer so that there's less impact on standby. I don't know if it would. I don't know if it would work though, to be honest. Uh, I I feel like that's an. I don't think Disney would do it. I don't think they will because they want to maintain the idea of being family friendly. That's a conversation that we're going to have. I did a knots. I did fast lane at knots this week, and uh, I bought you know the whole thing, the hundred dollar one, and I you know I didn't like. I wasn't like out there crushing rides all day. I just wanted to evaluate it and see, you know, how efficient it is versus standby and, you know, the, the savings and all that and what the value is. Even at $100, it's pretty good value. Uh, but I don't know if it would work the same. I don't know if it worked the same at Disneyland. That's something I would want to put into some really concentrated thought on, I think. <laughs> Babe, we live together, honey. <laughs> I like how my wife is like, you need to be excited that I'm in your chat room right now. Oh, baby, I love you. You don't do you really need me to be excited that you're in my chat right now? <laughs> we're gonna go spend the as soon as I in about five minutes, we're gonna have the whole night together. <laughs> you got it's gonna be just you and me. I'm not working tonight, so there's that. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Plus, it's been super busy in the chat tonight, honey. I know. I've seen you, babe. <laughs> I've seen you. <laughs> Uh, validate me. <laughs> Disney guy gives the two bucks. Thank you. Toy Story lot, 75 acres. Simba lot, 24 acres. Disneyland, 18 acres. Yeah, so Toy Story lot, we made this comment in our last Disneyland Forward video that it would be a travesty of epic proportions. It would be catastrophic, a colossal waste of space for them to, to take a 75 acre parcel and turn it into a gift shop. A colossal mistake, in my opinion. So the idea that they're gonna turn that into another Disney Springs, another downtown Disney, when they've already got a downtown Disney. No, I, I do think that the end game for Toy Story Lot is the third gate. I do think so. They just need help from the city. They need help from the city to connect 
those two things. Traxlert. Why is my wife throwing out memes at me right now? Courtney Edwards, would you say this is nearly the most excited you've been about Disneyland future in recent memory? I don't know if excited is the right word. I The, the day after Chapik was fired was one of the most relieving feelings that I've ever felt in my life. I was so relieved. I felt so much better about the future of Disneyland in that day. But I don't know if I was excited. This is what I'm feeling today isn't so much excitement. It's I feel comfortable. I feel at peace with the direction. I, I, well, not completely at peace because there are still lots of things that I feel like they uh, they, they still need to do, deal with. But I at least, I, I, I don't feel despair like I did before. Chris Lucas, get the five dollars. Thank you. Hey, David, with Princess and the Frog eclipsing Alice in Wonderland as the most represented IP from animation in the park, what is next? Frozen or Moana? I don't know. We'll see what happens when they build Disneyland forward. There's, there's really nothing else left that they can do, I think. There, or there's... Uh, that's it. There's, I mean, third gate? Well, then we'll see. But Frozen is huge. I can see them putting in more into Frozen. Uh, I can see them doing more with Marvel. That's not a dead brand yet. Uh, Frozen, yeah, I think so, probably. Kayla Portman, get the $5, thank you. $5, Liz, because we love and acknowledge her. Well, I'm glad somebody did. I'm glad somebody acknowledged my wife. Jason Bell, get the five dollars. Thank you. What's your favorite horror movie? Uh, Halloween. I'm a Halloween guy. I'm a Mike Myers guy. All day. I love Halloween. Although I didn't really care for the Halloween ends. It was okay, but they they went a direction. And I'm like, what the? What are you? What are you doing? I was almost with them, and then they lost me. There was a comment in here. That uh, I thought I wanted to answer, but I know I can't remember what it was. Track switch. All right, so I guess that is that it. Yeah, we're at. Uh, oh no, we still got a minute to go. Cuscotopia. I mean, <laughs> you would. There would be certainly some fans who want to go see that. Uh, Jaws. I don't count Jaws as a horror film, to be honest. It's a thriller for me. Although that's Liz's favorite movie, but I don't count that as a horror film. What impact will Joe Rody have coming back? I uh, we won't know for years if he's as long as he's still just doing the training thing. But the, what the, what I'm hoping that the impact is is that it it encourages Imagineers to think in uh, themes and spirit as opposed to uh, the mechanics of things and thrills and uh, you know. Rody spends a lot of time trying to immerse you into an experience and trying to get, you know, trying to present the feeling of a place. That's what I love about Animal Kingdom, you know, and, and, and the things that he's done. And I hope that he gets, he encourages them to take a holistic approach to, to ride design or uh, theme park design. Theme parks and thanks with Johnny. Get the $20. Thank you. I feel a little bit bad for Bob Chapik, though. I feel we went so, too hard on him. I don't. Uh, a lot of why Disney is in the shape it is is in was because of Bob Iger. You can make that argument, but it was Chapik who changed the the attitude in the executive offices. Iger is not 
Walt Disney. But he's also not Chapik. He's somewhere in the middle. Chapik was... He's inhuman. <laughs> I don't know. He's some kind of monster. Chapik is... He's not... He's not a kind of person who should be running a theme park. I'm just, I don't know how else to explain it. Bob Iger at least has some warmth and personability. And he's a businessman and he's probably a cutthroat businessman at that. But I, I, I feel like he's more pliable. He's more, uh, he can adjust. He can, he can receive input and say, you know what? Okay, maybe maybe we'll do this over here instead of doing that. Whereas JPEG's like, no, I've got my plan. I've got my calculator. My thing says we're going to do this, and we absolutely can, or we're going to do this, whether or not you like it. And go drop dead. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's the only way I can explain it to me personally. I mean, I could be, I don't know the man. I don't know either one of those two guys, but I could be wrong. I got to go. Everybody's yelling at me to go hang out with my wife. Uh, Chapek was worse than Eisner all day. Eisner had a, a really good run there for a while, and then he went crazy. Uh, thank you, guys, everybody. It's been fun tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Glad that we're back, and uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, wait, am I going to see them next week? No. The week I'm missing you is when I go see the Tram 60th thing on April 18th. I'll see you guys next week. We love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Respect.